Chashman again, and I'm here again with Nina. We're going to show you a couple other things that you can do to work on that arm strength. So, we're going to use the balance beam today, but at home, I know that you probably do not have a balance beam. So, you can use the side of the table or a desk, um, or if you have some other sturdy object that you can grab above your head on top of. So, Nina's going to use the edge of the balance beam like you would a table. She's going to grab it. She's going to start on her knees. This is just one way you can do it. You can sit any way that you'd like. And she's going to try and pull her chin up to the top of that beam. So, that's probably the hardest variation that we have. So now we're going to show you a couple easier ways to do it. So one thing she can do is start with her hands on top of the beam. Put your hands on top of the beam. And I actually want you to stand up and put your chin by it and then do a chin hold. So you're going to hold your feet off the ground. Okay? You just hold as long as she can. And so she's going to try, go ahead and come down. She's going to try to hold it as long as she can. If she can only hold it for a few seconds, that's all right. But each time she does it, she wants to try and get a little longer. Okay? Next, she can put her feet either on the floor or raise them up on the block. So we'll show you each one. So can you put your feet on the floor? So she's going to sit in a pipe. Her feet stay on the ground and she's going to pull her chain up to that top of the table. Okay? And then you can also put her feet up on a chair or any other stable object and let them stay there and she can try and pull. Okay? And so those are some ways that you can do chin-ups at home. And then we will show you a couple other things and we'll see you soon.